Not Law. Hope you had a good weekend. I know I've been gone for a couple days, but I got a package. I ordered some gold from Australia. Pretty fired up about it. It's beautiful. I'm going to make a video and show you guys, or maybe do a live show on it. We'll talk about Australian gold, Bathurst, some football, American and Australian. Just have a good time. But today we're going racing. Much obliged if you're here. I do appreciate the time. This is Greg Murphy's Lap of the Gods from 2003. I've had it on the list for a few weeks, finally getting around to it. Let's go racing. Because that time of John Bowes will look as big as the mountain he's about to try and tame. Around Hell Corner. See the wheel work from Greg on the way through right there. And the car's very Holden. He's driving the Holden, and I see the Kmart sponsor, Castrol and Kmart, but Kmart, I remember Kmart. Is that a Commodore? Let me know, please. He turns it in once, there's only a little bit of a... I'm pretty sure that's the Holden Commodore. Trim at the steering wheel angle across the face of the corner, then nails the throttle on the way out. It's a very stable motor car, 51, and it has been all weekend. First in the first two practice sessions, first in the qualifying session. As I mentioned, an 0795. You know I like that Tirana. I think it's the A9X, that bullet of a car. But this Holden car is fast. It's quick, man. Tight through those turns. He's right up on the wall. Close. Inches off the wall every time. But he's, he's hitting those marks, man. Through the cutting. Reset the throttle in. You heard a little dab. Tried to pick it up. Had to come back out. Got back on it again. Squeezing. Looking for every chance <laughs> It's awesome! Four tenths of a four second tenths. for Greg Murphy! The readout on the dash won't show him that, but it's showing that the Kmart Commodore is Man, top of the flying. game right now. Four tenths inside John Bow's time. Gee, the car looks good. See how he goes through the elbow. This thing. He is getting 11 tenths out, mistake free so far. Every millimeter of road on the run to Forest Elbow. Second split's critical. Is it online at the elbow? A little bit wider than he would have liked, but he stays with it. I don't think it's hurt him. He's up nearly 0.7. A little awesome wide. Time, so a little wide, but he carried that speed. From Murphy, and the Holden fans in the background are roaring. His time yesterday was a 27.95. Can he improve <laughs> on it? Yeah. Well, well, that's badass, man. He moment. is flying. And all you can do is laugh because this is just quite simply an awesome lap. He holds it together through the chase. And Greg Murphy, listen to the crowd roar. The Holden supporters love it. He has released the shackles on car 51. And he is going straight to pole position for the Bob J T-Mites 1000. Damn. A blistering lap. Holy smokes. I want to back that up. I want to watch that a little bit. And look at the split. It's awesome. Four tenths of a second for Greg Murphy. The readout on the dash won't show him that, but it's showing that the Kmart Commodore he is top of the game man. right now. Four tenths inside John Bow's time. Gee, the car looks good, and Murphy's really ringing this thing. He is getting 11 tenths out, mistake free so far. Every millimeter of road on the run. That is just awesome, road. man. That is an awesome view through the windshield. And I mentioned before. The Australians put that car in the camera back in the day. First ones to do it. I'm glad they did. That's awesome. Second split's critical. Is it online at the elbow? A little bit wider than he would have liked, but he stays with it. I don't think it's hurt him. He's up nearly 0.7. An awesome time so far from Murphy. And the whole fans the straight, in the background are roaring. His time yesterday was a 27.95. Can he improve on it? JB. Well, He's all you can do is laugh. interested at the moment. And all you can do is laugh because this is just quite simply an awesome lap. He holds it together through the chase. And Greg Murphy, listen to the crowd roar. The Holden supporters love it. He has released the shackles on car 51. And he is going straight to pole position for the Bob J T Mites 1000 Murphy. Okay. And blistering lap. Oh, 
You know, I read and I've been learning, they put that chase in years back because in the early days without it, that's carrying too much speed and people were getting hurt, and maybe even killed, but seriously hurt. So they put that in for safety conditions, but they're still flying, man. Uncharted territory for anybody on the mountain. Nobody's ever gone under the sevens. <laughs> Take a bow, Greg Murphy. That was something very special in the history of Bathurst. <laughs> wow. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good feeling, I bet you. The Kiwi celebrates like there's no other party in the world worth being at right now than this pit lane party. The door's open. He doesn't care about regulations. The belts are off. I'll tell you what, there'll be very few people in that pit lane that don't applaud this. That is an outstanding bit of driving and a beautiful motor car, a credit to Kmart Racing. And that, look at them, they come out of the bunkers to applaud extraordinary work. Look at that, you will never see that, that any other awesome, time in Australian man. motorsport. Standing ovation for Greg Murphy. Quite simply, the most incredible lap you're ever going to see. <laughs> it just occurred to me this is 2003 Brocky passed in 06 right so Peter Brock was around when Murphy did his thing <laughs> hey, Greg Murphy, the quickest ever lap around Mount Panorama how good was that Ooh. <laughs> he's speechless he's speechless take your helmet off for us gather yourself up talk us through the lap what was it like oh, i can't believe that i don't think i breathed the whole thing <laughs> oh right. good stuff did i i made a balls up out of the cutting i mean out of the the dipper i actually hooked first instead of third so i cost myself a couple of tents I just can't believe it. You cost yourself some tents. You think there's even more in it? There was more in it. I stuffed up. <laughs> Always going to say oh. that. That is remarkable. Rick Kelly is coming up to join you here. A special moment in your career. The Kmart boys, Eric Pender, his engineer, gives him the congratulations. Is awesome. A wonderful moment. Tomorrow, mate, let's hope you convert it. Fantastic start to the weekend. Can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Greg Murphy speechless right now, and the Kmart Racing team are delighted. Rick Kelly making his way up here to join Murphy. The crowd here, mountain straight, can't believe it either. Everyone giving him the congratulations. They're on their feet. Wonderful scenes here, and a special moment. Yeah! A very special moment. Punches the air. And Rusty, that's got to be one of the best stuff ups you've ever seen then. 20685. If he reckons he made a mistake, then we're in for right. some Great racing. mind blowing performances tomorrow from Murphy the Kmart and Kelly. Commodore. Man, that's we just quit this history, man. folks, live and exclusive on 10. You've seen the quickest lap ever around Mount Panorama, and Greg Murphy provided one of the standout moments. In the and we'll leave it right there. I just saw the fastest lap around Mount Panorama on the Bathurst course there. Greg Murphy, 2003. That was a great run. Oh, I should have paid attention. That was the Commodore, right? Holden Commodore. I'm pretty sure uh, I was so caught up in watching him run that and that view from the windshield and just can't get enough of it, man. Up off the wall that far and diving into the turns with the two lefts or the two rights up off the ground. He was a little wide in that sweep through the elbow but I reckon he carried his speed well. You know, uh, there's times I feel like out on the road, road course we can do that a little bit, be a little bit wide, uh, push it out on the edge just to touch, just to keep that speed. Hey man, that was great, you guys, appreciate that. Uh, there's a ton of Bathurst I haven't seen, so I'm still going through the list. That Greg Murphy lap of the gods was next, and I thoroughly enjoyed that. Everybody have a good afternoon, good evening. I'll see you later. Jeff and the Outlaw, take care.